Many products that we buy often live a linear life, meaning they are created from raw materials extracted from the earth, processed and manufactured, purchased by us to be used for a short time, then discarded. Most of these products, many of which contain toxic materials, end up in landfills. This linear product life cycle is unsustainable. A better way would be to produce products in a closed loop system where items are manufactured, purchased, and then recycled and reused. Closed loop systems exist everywhere in nature and are sustainable. The life cycle of an aluminum can, although not perfect, is approaching a closed loop system. Let's examine. First, aluminum has to be extracted from its ore, known as bauxite. To process this raw material, molten aluminum flows into molds and a curtain of water is sprayed to cool it down. As the metal cools, it hardens and an ingot is formed. In manufacturing, coils of can sheet are fed into large machines called cupping presses. The press cuts circles from the aluminum sheet, forms them into shallow cups, which are then dropped onto a cup conveyor. The next step is packaging. Brand logos are printed directly onto the aluminum. Products in aluminum cans are typically packaged in multi-packs made of chipboard or plastic. So, how do these cans get to you and me, the consumers? They are usually brought to market via truck delivery. Products in aluminum cans are then purchased one at a time or in packs containing multiple cans. And when you're done drinking that refreshing beverage, that can gets to live another life. Aluminum cans are recyclable within 60 days. Cans are collected for recycling at the curbside or they can be taken to drop-off centers.